This is a short video on how to come up with your own drum fills, whether you've got no idea where to begin or if you've got some ideas already and you want to develop them. So first of all, what is a drum fill? Generally, and for the purpose of this video, drum fills link sections of songs together. So I will start with the drum beat on the hi-hat. So that was the fill then. I was linking the drum beat from the hi-hat into the ride. So that could have been a verse going into a chorus of the song and you can come back the other way. And, but first of all is where do you start with them and what do we use? So your default, your template you're gonna use for now is you will start your fill on the third beat of the bar. All right, it's four beats in a bar because the time signature we're playing in four, four for now. And you've got to occupy the third and the fourth beat with a rhythm. So where do we get our rhythms from? If we go back to the characters, we can start working with them as building blocks to fill the third and fourth beat. So we have Goofy, Donald Duck, Bugs Bunny, and Tom and Jerry. So just say them in your head when you need them. So if we look at this exercise now, on the third beat, I've got Donald Duck. On the fourth beat, I've got Tom and Jerry. And you'd say three E and four E and a. We only say the characters in our head. So this whole line will sound like this. It's gonna start with the crash symbol. There's four bars or four measures in this line. Measures is another word for bar. The middle two bars are copies of the drum beat. So that percentage looking sign means to repeat the previous bar. But an unwritten rule is we don't play the crash symbol again. So this line will sound like this. The second bar bar and we've got one two nine. repeat it the whole line so a great exercise now is you can choose any two characters they all start with your leading hand so it's my right hand you can have any two in any combination or two the same. So if, just as a, an example, I'm gonna do Bugs Bunny Goofy. So we say three and a four and. So one. One, two. Okay, so now we're getting an idea where we're gonna start and what we're gonna use. So now we can start to build on that and develop it. So a really simple development we can do is I'm gonna move whatever's on the fourth beat from the snare drum to the low tom. So I'm gonna to stay with what's written, uh, Donald Duck, Tom and Jerry, so it'd be Donald Duck, Tom and Jerry. So the whole line. Okay, so now we're starting to move around the kit. The next development you can do is you can split the characters because we're thinking of these characters as building blocks of rhythms. The third beat, the Donald Duck, I'm going to go Donald Duck and I'm going to go Donald Duck. If it was Bugs Bunny Goofy, I could go. A good way to map or to orchestrate your fills around the kit is imagine your low tom is a drain and you're thinking of running water. It will all generally head in that direction. It's pleasing for the ear to hear sort of the low lower toms at the end. You don't generally come up the toms. Sometimes there's a need for it, but you generally go down the toms or across your lap. So you head towards that way. So um, let's do uh, this line with the the uh, the rhythms the rhythm split between the drums so. good right it's starting to take shape now let's add this is a bit more of an advanced um, development we can add to it but think of a rudiment you can add I always say the three key ingredients are rhythm drum choice and a rudiment and a great one to use, and you'll hear loads of drummers doing this, is whatever the, uh, the rhythm, the character, we're using on the third beat, so we've got a Donald Duck. I'm gonna put a drag, I'm gonna make the first note of the Don, three, into a drag. So 
that's my Donald Duck. And I'm going... So it gives it a, another sort of dimension, a, a texture, a bit of dynamics about it, because we're using ghost notes now. And also, um, a final touch, just to make this really come to life, is to go to your beat sheet and choose any of the drum beats that you like, because they're all in 4-4. Four, four. So I'm going to add one. Um, it's going to go... So I'm going to substitute out the drum beat that's in the first bar of the line for um, just a more advanced drum beat. I'm not going to put it in the music, but you can put any drum beat in there that you want that's from the beat sheets or that's in 4-4. Four, four. So here we go. Three, four. And the final thing we're going to add, and this is for um, more advanced players, is we move into rhythms, we come out of duplets into this sort of parallel universe of triplets and sextuplets. So a sextuplet, Nelly the Elephant, right? That is worth one beat. So you could have two Nelly the Elephant. All right, so. Okay, and again, if you're feeling really brave, split the Nelly the Elephants up. Oh. All right. That is all coming from starting my fill on a third beat of the bar. I'm occupying a third or fourth beat with some kind of character that's a rhythm, moving it around the drum kit, and then adding um, a rudiment, a drag in front of it if I need to. Um, you could even add it in front of the uh, sex bit. If you want to keep pushing it and see how far you can go. There's lots of ideas there. Um, get a good template and then put a backing track on a song that you like and see if you can fit, because you're working in bars of four, they will fit with most rock and pop and funk songs. And uh, see what, see what res uh, results you can get.